In this video, we're going to take a look at a small and hidden feature inside 3D Code Sculpt Workspace that can help you restore any vertex color you may have lost. For example, the other day, I had imported a 3D scan in that happened to have UVs assigned to it and it had associated image maps. When you import the model into the Sculpt Workspace, you can do the same by uh, choosing your mesh and then making sure to check import without voxelization because 3D Coat cannot store vertex color information on voxels. It has to do it on surface mode mesh. The reason for that is it stores all the color information on vertices. With this model, if I switch to voxel mode, you'll see how that works. So while it's calculating, I want to mention that I was doing a lot of cleanup work and when I tried to restore the model back to surface mode, I noticed quite a few large patches where it had some baking errors. But 3D Coat has an option here to bake color from visible volumes. I'll demonstrate that here momentarily. But you'll notice once I have switched this object to voxel mode, I now have this little color bar on the right hand side. That's an indication to me that 3D Coat has stored vertex color. If I make large scale changes, then there could be a problem with it baking some of that color information back. So let's go back to surface mode. And there we have it. It restored all that vertex color information. So what I want to do is I want to simulate a similar problem and that is to delete that vertex color layer. And let's say we've lost our color data or at least in part uh, like I did the other day. How would I go about getting it back? Well again we have that option. If we right click we can choose bake color from visible volumes, but right now I don't have a visible volume that has any vertex color information, so I need to bring it in. One way to do that is when you initially import a model and it stores that vertex color information, you can always right click on your layer and choose save volume as 3B, and that's a 3D coat file. So when you choose to import a version in later on, or should you decide to import it in later on, you can choose Select Mesh and you can choose the OBJ file that you originally worked with or the 3D Coat file, either one. So, yeah, let's create a new layer. And I don't have to switch this to surface mode because 3D Coat will do it for me if I check Import Without Voxelization. So this is very important. Make sure this is checked when you bring it in so 3D Coat can store that color data onto the vertices. Once that is checked, uh, again, we select our mesh. And then hit apply. And you'll notice it switched to surface mode for us. And now all I need to do is switch out of the tool. I can hide the problematic layer first. And you can see this is the original one that we brought in that needed all the cleanup work. So we'll use this to bake all that color data back onto the model that had the issue. Okay, so again, this is the volume or the layer that we need all that color data restored. So I'll select this layer that I did all the cleanup work on that I want all the color baked onto and I'll right click and I'll choose bake color from visible volumes and then you can choose your bake scan depth. Now I can hide the one I imported and I can see 3D Coat indeed baked all that color information and the texture errors that I'm seeing are the ones that I have not yet had an opportunity to go through and correct because these are the errors that came along with the 3D scan and they have to be touched up. And with that, we will conclude this practical look at using the Bake Color from Visible Volumes feature in 3D Code Sculpt Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.